hey guys and welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in to watch this february uh budget and january overview i think january for me was pretty awesome i can say um i did you know didn't stay within budget with certain things but i think i did pretty pretty well so let's just get into it so i don't know if you guys remember um a while back i told you guys um that I didn't know what to do with this part of my planner. So what I did was I decided to do each month of an overview update, right? So my starting balance for January is $18,116.07. I paid off $1,281. Savings total $52.10. So this is what I'm going to be using for um, every month. I think it looks beautiful. So let's shoot straight to, and all my bills were paid for January. So this first part of the video is going to be my January overview of my spending. And we're just going to shoot straight to here. So for January 2024 goals, I did not finish my book. I'm hoping to finish it this month. Um, I did pay off my Amazon credit card. It was my birthday. My birthday was fantastic thanks to my daughters. And thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. And I think you guys can see this. Yes, you guys can. Exercise, I did not do. I'm still working on that. Bible read reading, I did uh, 7 out of, what, 30 days. Um, I know I need to do more and I need to get really, really in tune into my Bible reading. Credit card use. I did not use no credit cards in the month of January, which was awesome, right? It's always awesome not to use a credit card. So that was January. Um, we're going to go to here. Um, here I had to use my buffer in order to you know, maintain my groceries, which listen, that's what Buffer is there for. So I'm not mad at it. So now we are going to go into Feb February. Okay. So I got paid the second and I'm getting paid again, the 16th. So the second paycheck is going to uh, pay for anything that's within the second to the 15th, which is only half of my cell phone bill and half of my rent for the month of March and my Apple storage, which is 99 cents. Also, I have to pay for my MTA because I forgot to um, save for it last month, which is okay because I'll get back up to, um, I'll get back up to my bills, well, back up to this MTA for hopefully next month. Then for the 16 paycheck, it's going to pay my Apple Music, let me see, because my tape, okay, you guys can see that. So for the 16th paycheck, we're going to pay Apple Music, Lifetime Movie, Canva, Chase Flex. Student loans don't need anything. Um, I am putting money aside for student loans. So, you know, when the time comes, I am going to just pay a lump sum off. Um, Amazon Prime is $7.61 and Apple credit card is $29. So that's how my February is going to go. Then my goals for February 2024 is save $150 in my savings. Just see fun is a little over $1,000 and I'm trying to get my savings just to that mark as well, even more. I'm, I'm going to try to finish my current book, post at least eight videos, plus five shorts, try to exercise at least four times. My daughter's birthday is the 17th. Brooklyn's birthday was the 5th because I am filming this after due to the fact that I've been having some iMovie uh, technical difficulties. And I'm hoping I'm able to even put this video up. So let's see. That's why this video is late. Set up my budget for, for March through June. Bible reading. These are my tracking. So I'm Bible reading, exercise, and no credit card use. 
Okay, now we're gonna go into my February paycheck budget tracker. So I got paid 850. Uh, rent is going to get 342. Cell phone is gonna get 100. MTA 132. Apple Music 99 cents. My fixed expenses is $574.99. Leaves me with $275.01. For ver variable expenses, groceries going to get $150. Household $25. Pet $10. And buffer $50. Which that is a total of $20. $235. Leaves me with $40.01. So for sinking funds, I'm only going to do Christmas, which is going to get $12. Now leaves me with a leftover of $28.01. Apple credit card is going to get $28. I'm just going to add that on top of everything else that I'm putting towards Apple credit card. That leaves me with one cent. And then the leftover one cent, I'm going to put in my savings account which this is a zero base budget. As you can see, I started tracking. Hopefully, let's see how that goes. Um, I am using a different tracker. Um, this one, I thought it was a little bit more simpler or simple for me, um, only because it had date, tra um, transaction, category, amount, and then cash or card. So I can know more or less what did I use in order to pay for that certain or specific um item so guys this is my january overview i think it went pretty well i just need to work on some little things here and there and my my february budget which i'm hoping to stay in track but so far it's looking like i'm not um because i'm gonna try to be as transparent as i can on here because i'm not perfect i'm human and i'm just trying to live on a budget to be able to get um my life together so i hope you guys stay along with me and this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll be seeing everyone in my next video